Hello and good day everyone. My name is Hunter Harrington, ProfiNet Consulting Engineer with the Profi Interface Center. Welcome back to our video series on using ProfiNet technology and today's topic, using I.O. devices with ProfiNet. Our goal for today is to show you how to set up and use a ProfiNet I.O. device. ProfiNet is a communication architecture designed for industrial automation applications and offers many benefits. Devices such as encoders, valves, drives, I.O. blocks, switches, and others can be distributed over the Profinet network. When discussing Profinet, there are three main device roles depending on the device's function. The Profinet I.O. controller communicates to the I.O. devices as the controller of those devices, writes the process outputs, and has the main user program. Profinet I.O. devices send the process signals to the controller, such as inputs or diagnostic messages. And I.O. supervisors can obtain status and control information from the devices and parameterize the system. Note that if supported, some devices can also perform multiple roles. An example would be a Profinet I.O. controller and device simultaneously. Shown is a picture of our demonstration rack with the I.O. controller and I.O. devices. We will be setting up the highlighted I.O. device and then turn on the lights as an output from our controller program. The basic steps for configuration of Profinet I.O. devices are shown here. Mainly, you will need to wire the device for operation and to configure it with your Profinet engineering tool. In the engineering tool, you will set device settings and put the I.O. device into operation with your I.O. controller by downloading the configuration. Here, we are going to wire our device and connect it to the network, making sure to follow instructions from the manufacturer and installation guidelines. Next, configure your device using the engineering tool. The device is described in a GSD file and manual which is provided from the manufacturer. One important concept we must mention is naming. With Profinet, all devices on the network have a device name for easy management. Device names are defined in the engineering system, as well as IP addresses. The device names are then downloaded to the devices using the Profinet DCP protocol. The device name is used for startup, and the I.O. controller finds the devices by their name and sets their IP address automatically. We can configure and verify the device name has been set correctly in the engineering tool. Finally, we can set any other device parameters as an option, which could include update times, diagnostics, and device-specific settings. Once finished, we can download our configuration to the controller. The controller will now find the device based on the device name and start the I.O. communication automatically. Here are the lessons we learned today. In just a few steps, we were able to configure our Profinet I.O. device. First, by obtaining the GSD file from the vendor. Second, configuring the device and setting the device name. And third, by downloading our program and starting the Profinet I.O. controller. So there you have it. Our Profinet I.O. configuration is completed. The benefits of using Profinet is that it can be used wired or wirelessly, with safety, to conserve energy, with flexible topologies, and in real time with high performance. It also offers comprehensive diagnostics and device replacement features. We'll be covering some of these other topics in our future videos. Well, that wraps up today's session, Profinet Using I.O. We hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Goodbye. For more information, visit www.allthingsprofinet.com.